All right, um, batch recording for the win because I, I look how like I, I stop and then I start again and it's just like literally thirty seconds later for me, but um, a whole day later for you, Victor. Or you know, thirty seconds later, depending on if you're watching this after I've uploaded like more than one. <laughs> anyway, got a batch record when I have time. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna continue on. I I, I think. Oh right, wait, did I? Okay, so we've done two, two scouting, scouting's done. Um, we need to go back to our cards, we need to improve our cards, and we need to go reliability. 100% reliability over performance. Um, it's gonna be done, the part design is gonna be done four days before. So that's, we're also gonna then have to just gun reliability on it. But probably actually not, because the odds are we're not gonna get to see it. Uh, annoying of a half, and late breaker. Okay. Give a fuck. Uh, so we're gonna look at scouting. Um, we're gonna sort them. Ah, scouted. There we go. Um, so this is something that <laughs> first off, I absolutely annoys me when I watch a Quill play. This is. Um, I mean, I hope it's Quill. I haven't checked. I'm fairly sure it's Quill. Could be a Roomba, but you know. Anyway, uh, uh, you can just hover over them and it tells you the traits. You don't have to open them. So when he's looking for a uh, pay driver, he's like. No, not a pay driver. No, not a pay driver. It's like you can, you can just do this and, and see. Like it, it is a little bit broken because if you do one down here, uh, like if I go here, uh, see how like it butts to the bottom of the page, but up here it's uh, it's off the bottom. If they have traits and it butts against the bottom of the page and they have more than two traits, it will. Um, is it some kind of threshold? Because I'm pretty sure one of these just butted against the bottom. Uh, but if they have more than two traits, it, it'll actually drop them off the page and you can't see them. But that doesn't really matter. So, um, that, like that, that's just like a obnoxious, like, if they have lots of traits. Oh no, my driver has too many traits. I can't see them all without opening up the driver. But yeah, it does make page, finding pages a little hard when they hard things like that. Uh, design gearbox. Okay. So, yes, scouting, scouting. We have a bunch of sponsors coming in. Uh, if we just look at our player, our finances have dropped because um, we are in debt. And I have literally no idea what that does. I have a feeling that's only important if you're not doing this challenge because you can change. Like if I go here, it tells me that these people are uneasy about hiring me. And it's like, well, maybe if my finances were better, they would be less uneasy about hiring me. And so I don't think it matters because I can't change job and as long as the CEO is not upset. So... We can take either a million dollars up front for six races or 3.5 million over the rest of the course. I think I'll take the 3.5 million. It's not quite 3.5. It's 3.1. Yeah, it's 3.150 million. Yeah, I don't know. But that would be more than this long term and i like i mean i'm going to design a new car but not for a while like, I, okay. like the, the million's not going to push me to a point where i can design a part i guess is what i'm saying but, um ah oh, right that's why it stopped we've got some races to simulate mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. So our sponsors are kind of shitty, our pit crew is kind of shitty. So yeah, the, the hope is basically we're just going to try and get some really good cars. Um, anyway, fit parts. So, uh, improve parts. We want to improve the reliability of our new gearbox. Just 100% gun that. It'll be done 14 days before the race. Uh, 14 days after the race, so it doesn't really matter. But its performance is fucking beautiful. Just continue improving this thing's performance though because of the better performance. Um, so yeah, we definitely need better engines because our engines are capped hard. Whereas these things can, like, you can get up to 70. Uh, if I go back to uh, cars, like our acceleration is not the worst acceleration in the entire league. We're almost average. So what that translates to is um, Basically, any racetrack where, where acceleration is important, we're not as handicapped as we originally were. Uh, must respond, must respond. To yes, got it. I, I should stop being so fucking broke. Um, okay, 
So max out on the sponsors, pit crew, calculate. Uh, uh, scouting, has scouting done anymore? No, I don't think, oh, I don't, scout, yeah, scouting to get this guy. Pay driver, yeah, so it, it, this must be fixed. 50% of the driver to take part in practice only. So your marketability is really high. I think I'm gonna go with the marketability, but I'm, I can't sever, uh, we're gonna try this. Can't fire you. So probably just gonna make you a reserve driver because his marketability is higher than hers. His marketability is, um, oof, but we're also going with the mm, reliability though. Mm, I hate this. Ooh, but, okay, so. The reason I usually don't get rid of her when I've played this before is she's the one that has the ability to um, uh, um, uh, she won't her engine won't degrade, but that's not her ability. That's her mechanics ability. So swapping her out as early as I can for the other who's much more marketable and actually pays me to drive will um, will improve the relation with the mechanic, which will then give him that ability. This guy, I don't want to get rid of, like I could get rid of him, he's much cheaper. Um, but he's also much more marketable. She is a, like if I go to the office, she's absolute shit. Uh, that was a loud, weird noise. Um, yeah, so she's absolute shit marketability wise. So I want to swap her out as soon as possible. So probably the end of this race. Um, yo, 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 Kenny. Um, approach. Start negotiations. Can I negotiate when I don't have any money? See, he basically wants no money. My status isn't very important. Um, you'll get equal status. Uh, how can you be an equal status number one? That seems like a bug. Equal status. Okay, yeah, that's a bug. Uh, hello? Um, that's a bug. Home racer, uh, okay, yeah, that sucks. Um, keep it simple, stupid, adaptability. Uh, marketability. Ooh. And pay driver. So I basically get a quarter of a million dollars every time this guy races. Um, yeah, approach driver. Start negotiation. So you're gonna get equal standing. Uh, you're gonna get $70,000. And I'm gonna give you a contract, a really long contract, because again, you're 35 and you have no no potential for improvement. Um, and I'm also gonna say that if you ever finish above 10th, I'm just gonna give you like a lot of money. First. <laughs> yeah, so basically you, you'll take, uh, actually if I give you that much, you'll take a quarter of our, what our sponsor would pay us for finishing above 16th if you finish above 10th. I can't give you a signing bonus because I'm, I'm broke. All right, like, let me pause this. I don't think this guy's hard to hire, so I'm actually gonna pay you as little as possible. I'm just gonna make as much money as we can. And we're gonna fire our, um, how much? So, cost of break contract is almost a million dollars. $200,000 or 200, so 220 or two. So, your marketability is shit, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna do this. We don't have to worry about, um, who we're gonna fire until we act, he actually accepts. Uh, anyway, if we go back to drivers. I waste a lot of fucking time. Uh, what is your marketability? Content. Plus 30 morale, minus 30 desired earnings. Marketability is 16%, but you're shit. But you're marketable. But marketability is not gonna matter right now because, but it's, see how engine expert because they've worked together for so long plus because she's, she's grounded um so we're gonna get this guy i like this fast pit stop thing this is good for this driver um both of those are really good in terms of my strategy of playing is you can either push the engine really hard to try and keep up early or you can uh do fast pit stops and try and do less pit stops but be slow around the track to just overtake people just purely by the fact that you just didn't take as long to pit. These are gonna be fucking marathon episodes, I love it. Uh, the only issue with marathon episodes is it takes longer for me to record batches of them. So, 
and also like I need bigger time frames to record that to something. So the series is more likely to get dropped. Hence, both Lobotomy Corporation got fucking dropped. So again, it's not dropped. Like I still have the save and everything. I'll, I'll go back to it eventually. But it takes too long, and it's too frustrating to record. And also, it doesn't let you pause and save at, at points, which means that um, if I get interrupted in the middle of a session, that's it. Like I just got to restart the day, and the session's bunk. Uh, it's the same reason that Mr. Over ended up dis disappearing. Uh, I, I need to work out where to see what this track is called. Like, I know it's written somewhere. Flex drivers, practice session. How do I... Two drivers. Um, like, how do I see what track I'm on? Because if I have a save, how do I know? Flex driver. Thank you. Um... Set up. Oh, I love how it's to put us on mediums. Tell me we have hards. No, just mediums. God damn it. Mediums I love because, again, it really helps with the two pit stuff. Uh, so if I load. Is it this one? Oh, phone's ringing. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I've returned. I'm probably going to be interrupted again later because of things. But, um. Uh, see, here's the thing <sighs> track info. I don't know how on this screen to find what the track is called is the problem. Session length, car balance, max. It wouldn't be there, it'd be somewhere here. Event results. The European, ah, 2016 Munch. Munich. Load. But it doesn't tell me whether it's track A or track B. But the fact that those dots are in the right spot tells me I'm probably about right. We're going to send them both out on mediums because of the legendary fact that, um, load Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, so you're both going out on mediums because, uh, again, I'm going to take the approach of trying to do one less pit stop. So, doing one less pit stop is going to result in me needing to be on the hardest possible tyres, most likely. So, getting the extra performance on harder tyres is going to, um, greatly improve performance. Uh, okay, bring in, bring in. Also, another thing that makes practices a little bit broken, because I, I don't think they intended practices to be abused like I'm doing them. Anyway, we've nailed down the uh, <laughs> on this person, at least. Which is so nice, because downforce is the one that tweaks everything else, and if it tweaks everything else, it's a pain in the ass to change. So, we probably want to go... Mm, I'm going to say that you're right in that way, and then we're going to but we're also going to... Uh, so good means we probably want to go like two dots. Okay, so that would be a good tweak. Uh, if you're great, I'm going to put you there. And we'll just tweak you like that much. Okay, so that should you be you like almost perfect, really. If not, it's, it's that way. Because I basically, I've worked out how wide the smiley faces are. So if you're on excellent, uh, yeah, excellent can only move the tiniest fraction of a, of a thing. But if you're on good, then it's um, well, downforce doesn't work. But on good, it's it's about that far to, to great, which I mean we just nailed. So, um, so that and between excellent and great is is about that much. But this is what I'm talking about. Uh, if I tweak what down where my downforce comes from. Uh, okay, so that's already max, so we want to probably do something like that. that. And then we can do that. See, because I tweaked where my downforce came from, it allowed me to move the speed balance without moving the handling at all, and then I can tweak the speed balance to move the handling. Okay. So I haven't quite moved it enough to move to great, which is a little annoying. Uh, um, okay, so we want to move it about that far. I mean, no, we don't want to change our tire pressure because that just takes forever. Um, there we go. That should be enough of a movement. If not, you know, it'll, it'll improve. Um, okay, sending you out and going. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, another thing that I was saying is I don't think the intended practice is to be abused like this. Um, because both cars get worked on at the same time. But actually, maybe that's not the case because that's, um... 
that's how our theme all works as well. Um, there's, there's like a rule that passes that says you're allowed to pit teams and therefore two cars can pit at the same time. Like that's actually a rule. I guess it's not that I'm abusing that. It's like you just, it's practice, so you're allowed to pit both cars at the same time. It doesn't make sense because I don't have a pit team big enough to pit both cars at the same time. But, um, so that was great. That was great. And you only improved a tiny amount. And that went to good. So you probably went the wrong direction with that grade. So we want to do something like that. And what's lovely is once you've got downforce right, you can just do that. So that was great. Yeah, so it's probably that. That was probably within enough of a window. Um, wow, send out with excellent and excellent. With just, just full blown excellence. 99%, it's not worth fucking. First off, because it doesn't tell me what's not perfect. Like, if it told me that, um... No, don't bring in. Um, if it said this person is perfect perfect, and has, you know... Except that, like, the downforce is the, the, the only thing that's making it not perfect perfect. It's like, then you could tweak the downforce and try and get everything else. But it doesn't. It just goes, oh yeah, they're all excellent. Like, so it's unless I want to tweak the downforce by the tiniest amount without changing anything else, which is almost a lot. Um... Yeah, we, it just, it wouldn't, um, it's not worth trying to work it out anymore, but my, my conclusion is. Um, okay, so the handling's not, not perfect yet, so, great, great, and did it go up? It went up, so that was definitely the right direction to take the handling. So what that means is we want to take the, uh, we want to step the handling one more step, probably not worth it, um, can Okay, so you want to step maybe the speed up? No, right, okay. So you step this like that, and then step you and do that. Okay, and then we can take the handling to there, and then we can take the tire pressure just a tad. So that was great. It's, it's, it's at 98, so it's definitely not this much of a move. Okay, so we want to put a tire pressure about even. Why even? Because that means that we have a leaf a leading line movement. Okay, so we want to do the other side. Ah, fuck it. It's not worth it. It's really not. I'll spend way too long tweaking it, is what will end up happening. We're at, and we're at 98. There's only 2% improvement between them. And then just leave them going around the track at maximum speed. They wreck tires, they chew through fuel, but all that happens is they're going to come in and we're just going to send them straight back out. I think it takes 3 seconds or something. So, you know, and it, I'm not even going to make it. The only time that this matters is when you end up with a really good uh, performance thing, or when this happens because they've run out of fuel. But again, this is the last lap anyway, so. Max excellent. I'm the best. So, we didn't actually set the worst time. We were fractionally faster than other people. Not much faster, like 0.2 of a second. Because I think it's gap from the top, not gap from the post. So yeah, we're only fractionally faster. So we, it would suck if we had to qualify, but uh, we're gonna be third and fourth? No, second and third. third. Yeah, no, third and fourth. Third and fourth, because we we it's placed in order of points and because there's only been one other race, the order of points is that. Um, so engine maintenance, and we're gonna take track trip, which makes no difference to this person because again, having the medium tires, they're just gonna take track trip. Uh, how many laps are we doing? I can't see that. Uh, but this guy gets point, so he's going to get 10% of the point. Okay, so 18 laps of fuel. So we're going to change this up. And we're going to say the 43 laps, so slightly less laps than last time. So that means that you need to make it... Ooh, you can do it with two pit stops. That's going to be... I, I love this tactic, it's so dumb, but it almost worked one time, except I pushed them a little bit too hard and they ran out of fuel. Um, I think they need to do a tiny pit just for fuel. Uh, in the middle, like, you can't, it can't be done as, um, it has to be done with three pits. You can't do it with two because of the difference between, like, 18 can maybe get you 20 laps. But there's 20, maybe 23 laps, but it can't get you 22 laps, which means you'll run out of fuel. Like, there's, there's, you're just going to run out of fuel. And the game doesn't let you fill. You can only put fuel in in fucking full lap increments. So I had one where it was like, oh, yeah, no, you're going to take 
17.8 laps of fuel out. It's like, uh, excuse me? But if I had 18 laps of fuel, I could make it. Um, anyway, so we're probably gonna give you s softs and we're gonna pit three times or do we give you mediums? Well, we have to pit three times with you. So we can pit three times with you. So every 15 laps. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna put you at 1.1. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna go high and normal, and you're gonna go low. And this is the dumb strategy I'm talking about. The strategy almost worked for me once, except I ran out of fuel. But um, and I think I broke down because again I was trying to abuse the um, the system. But. Um, <laughs> If we put you on low the entire time, the, another issue is that these... I, I don't remember if these tires need to run hotter or run colder. But, um... The abuse I'm talking about is that, um... It will take two pits. Which, um... Everyone else has to do three pits, because unless you're doing conserve the entire time, you are gonna run out of fuel. You have to do three points. Also, um, there's this abuse as well. Uh, nobody can over fucking take us, which means that they don't get that huge ass lead. So doing one less pit stop um, really fucks people over. So as long as we stay in third and don't let people overtake us, which isn't going to happen because the person in third. Uh, so uh, the one the one time I almost finished in like really high place is uh. I think this guy, uh, she she was on red red and was stopping everyone from overtaking, and he was on uh, blue blue and just did a bunch of laps and nobody could overtake her because she was being aggressive, and so he was just sort of chilling in front, not gaining a lead because he was you know not pushing it, but not losing heaps of ground, which meant that when he got one last pit stop. He was mile in front. I ended up losing because I ran a few because I tried to push him up. Like what I'm doing now. A fucking ridiculous number of laps without stopping. Okay. So, 14 laps? 14 laps would be 42. So, not 14 laps. Maybe 14, 14, 15. We're gonna do 18. So we're gonna do 13, 13, 18. We're gonna do 13, 13, 18. See how they're all still plastered together? The gap between us and the front is less than a pit stop. I mean, that's not gonna last. Because again, I'm in lap 3. I mean, it's gonna last off. Um, so, so, if I do 13, 13, then I can put you on hard to the track grip. It's not gonna land. It's always not for a long time. Um, Okay, you're still fucking going around. Um, what tires are called? Um, up the attack. Push the tires a little bit harder. The issue with pushing the tires a little bit harder. See, I think pushing them a little bit harder is better than letting them run cold. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. Just keeping that bottom bracket down. Push them a little harder. Um, Oh, we're doing better lap times. Ah, uh, because we're pushing the tires a little See, see what I mean? Is he's using way less fuel. I mean, it's probably, uh, I should probably put him in, uh, allow your teammate to overtake. Um, he's using way less fuel, but he's keeping this person, so they're going to have to pit before him, because he's using way less fuel, but they can't overtake him, because he's, he's still, um, Keeping, keeping pace, but he's, he's losing ground on people in front, but he's like less than a pit stop behind, I mean, you're less than a quarter of a length of the race, but he's less than a pit stop behind, and now, now we've picked her out, she's keeping him on the track, and she's on uh, orange, which means she's actually going to um, keep him trapped much better than he could, because she's actually going to have the potential to fight, to stop him from overtaking, whereas he... He just sort of let the person pass. Um, so on lap 13, I think I'm going to stop her and pit. Okay, they're not a lap in front, are they? No, a lap's got to be longer than fucking 13 seconds. Um, so 
she's gonna pit. She's gonna put on fresh, and she's gonna fuel up. I don't remember how much fuel you had. Fuel back up. So you're gonna do 13 more laps. So fuel up for 13 more laps. Friend. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do that. Um, so you're fueled up for 13 more laps. All your parts are in really good nick. And our yeah, pit crew is kind of shit, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you're going to put fresh tyres on, and you're going to do 13 more laps. Oh, apparently you're going to get 19 laps out of this. Almost good enough. Wow, you get way better. Um, anyway. So you can afford to push your tyres a little bit harder. Uh, and because fuel's not really a problem at the moment, you're just going to push your tyres. Um, don't worry about that person. Uh, yeah, so then we get to, it's lap, not 15, it's 20, lap 22 is when you are going to pit. Right. Can, can, can you make it to lap 22? I'm not going to do a two pit with you, am I? You're doing 13. 15 would be a three pit. Wow, I'm going to 22 with you, that's absurd. See, and the thing with that is I've got to hope I get four laps out of the fuel. Like, out of the fact that I'm not going that fuel, which is just... Whew. Uh, so, I probably want to drop you back to high. Though I guess you've got no one... See, this is what I don't, this is what I don't understand. Um, it says that it increases your maximum speed. But does that mean that because I've got no one in front of me, I'm better at being in high and being in medium when I've got someone in front of me? Because I want to save the fuel, but it, now I just want to gun it because... Uh, I just want to gun it because, ooh, ooh, ooh stop pushing. Oh god, you've got to conserve your tires, my But you're a medium, so you can go a lot lower before losing performance in your condition. Um, see, everyone's pitting, and now you're in front. Now, admittedly, this isn't going to make much of a difference because we're going to have to pit, but it will over the length of the race because they're going to have to pit twice. We have to pit twice. Or they have to pit twice more, or we have to pit twice more. Which means that over the course of the race, position shouldn't change because we're both going to pit this. Okay. Yes, your tires are getting a bit warm. Well, that's my fault for leaving you on chew through your tires for a little longer than I should have. Um, here's the issue. We can pit fuel pit tires, but pit fuel pit tires is basically just an extra stop. I, I'm hoping... So you have to basically make an entire pit stop. Sure. Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna pit you. You're in second, Jesus. Everyone pitted. We were less than a pit stop behind all but first and second. That is fuck oh no, did all behind first. Oh that's awesome. Okay, pit. Put fresh mediums on. You'll you, you get 25 laps out of fresh mediums. You're gonna put all right, just fill it up. 18 laps worth of fuel in, which should... Okay, wait, we don't want to put 18 laps in, because there's not there's not enough... Okay, so there's only going to be 12 laps when you pit left in the race. Uh, there's going to be, no, there's going to be 24 laps left when you pit. So if we... Okay, how much does fuel cost in terms of uptime? So to put no fuel in costs us... Fuel at pit stop. Okay. We're gonna have like no fuel at pit stop. Uh, it'll take three seconds. So adding one tank of fuel adds five seconds. And then every subsequent lap adds so so you so adding one lap adds three point three and every subsequent lap adds point seven. Okay. So, so if we do twelve laps. We can go neutral the whole time and stop twice and do an 11 second pit stop with a tire change. We're gonna have to change tires. Wait, how long do you reckon you'll get? 25 laps out of these tires. And there's only 24 laps left. So that'll save us three seconds over the course of the race. Probably not gonna do much. But we can also do a risky pit stop and save ourselves three seconds there. So that'll give us an 11 second pit stop. So as long as we're less than 11 seconds behind, do we, do we win? Yes. Uh, we better go balanced. We can't afford to make a mistake. But I mean, 
not that much different between the states. Um, the issue is fuel. So, I mean, if we have to stop again, we're better off putting just enough fuel in and saving time on laps. Yeah, um, okay. I would have been able to make it um, and, and do my nifty trick if I hadn't pushed the tires so hard. But we might still get an advantage. So we're gonna go, so we're doing 14 laps. So we can put you on medium and put you on neutral. We shouldn't need to change tires, we'll need to refuel one more time. You, on the other hand, oof. Cut back on your tires, my friend. Okay, so what are you going to do? So it was 13, wasn't it? So it's 26. So yeah, you're longer to go. Uh, let's see. So yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if I hadn't left your tires, I know what I did. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Um, oh, actually, maybe not. You're on fucking high. Um, you're going to make it three more laps, my friend. Okay. Yeah, it's 13. 26. Wait, you need four pit stops? I think you have to pit at 14 times. You don't have to pit though. Fuel at pit stop. Less than a lap. 17 laps will remain. Which means you will need 17. Is nine laps of fuel, so ten laps. Yep, ten laps of fuel. Okay, so, so, so it's seventeen laps will remain. Right, no, seventeen laps will remain. Just give you a full tank of eighteen laps and fresh socks for pits. Yep. Okay. Pit strategy balance. Yep. Twenty-two seconds. We don't have the pit team to, to do this. To push every race is really the problem. Yeah, look, you're, you're pitting. Anyway, so. You are pitting, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, cold ties. Pushing. So I'm assuming pushing the tires makes no difference. It, um, Sequel says that only matters if you hit the very top of the very bottom. Which I don't think is true. I think you'll probably find that the wear is, is in these segments. So up or down will wear differently. Uh, in the red and in the bottom, in the top and the bottom will wear differently. But at the very top and the very bottom just obliterates it. So the difference is tiny. But I'm doing endurance racing, which means that keeping that... Like, it's probably better to push the tyres into the, 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 the medium than to let them sit cold for long. Okay, what's this feel? Right, you're supposed to be... Doing that. Can I just not math? Apparently, I can't math. 24. Oh, we're looking for 39. So, this is 14. So, 28 will be in Remember that you were stopping there. You have a few laps of fuel. Um, so, if I. Oh, I got you. Uh, continue. Um, if I pit, uh, pit you. Uh, we're not gonna pit any tires. You have it all. There'll be eleven laps left. You'll have ten laps to go. Okay. I'm gonna put ten laps of fuel in. It's gonna take eleven seconds. It's an eleven second pit stop. Okay. Now my strategy works much better once this guy becomes uh, a good enough friend with his mechanic that he can. Uh, there's a. Uh, his mechanic gives him the ability to uh, to to, uh, to do fast pit stops at no penalty, or actually at a reduced penalty, depending on the level. Uh, so I'm pretty sure with, with the current setup, it would actually be safer to do a fast pit stop than a much more so No overtaking. You crashed, my friend. You crashed. So, uh. So the strategy of not, um, I need to tires up. Uh, yeah, so the strategy of pitting one last time than everyone else, uh, two, excess, excess fuel, uh, seems to have paid off again in that we are not going to finish last. Now, admittedly, 
They shouldn't have been. They were obviously crashed because they were battling first and second. But they're the same team. So, oh god. Um, looks, what? Oh, breaks. Ah, oh, fuck. How many laps we got left? Four, five, six, seven laps left? Seven laps left. Pit. How much is it going to take to repair? 23 seconds. Okay. Ah, we're not going to make it on that. I think we're better trying to make it than to not, uh, than to push it. So this is why we're upgrading the reliability of all our parts, because reliability, being able to make it to the end of a race without repairing is, as long as you can keep this gap small. So how far are we? So we're 11 seconds behind where we need to be, to, behind 16th. If we pit and do that, we're gonna end up being a lot further, which is a lot more than a pit stop. We, we, we had a chance, but not really. Like I would rather they finish, and someone else crashes while they finish uh, then to um like i'd rather they finish and have a chance of someone else crashing in the final seven laps uh then them not finish uh so we don't have excess fuel anymore and so i don't know if we're gonna make it on these tires that's not good um you probably not gonna make it on these tires either. Why are you pushing them so hard? Alright, so can I drop it back to conserve? I'm gonna do the same with you. Let's conserve. The issue with conserve is it pulls the fucking tires down like really hard. So I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, to go. oh, did someone else crash? Is that what this is? No, it's not. Um, okay, no, they both have to pit. Okay, you're gonna pit, and you're just gonna put on softs, and you're just gonna... How many laps? Two laps left? Just, uh, actually, don't even fuel. Two laps left, when you get there. You'll have enough fuel to hit hard as well. And your engine's gonna get fucked, but whatever. So three seconds to pit. The fuel is where the fucking time goes. You're gonna also pit. So there's going to be two laps remaining. Yeah, you need enough fuel. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, just hit your tires. Hit fucking trash. Hit your tires hard as well, my friend. Because it doesn't really fucking matter. So you're going to hit your tires hard, and you're going to hit your fuel hard. Right, because you have point three of a lap and two laps to go. One lap to go, probably, because of that pit stop. You probably more than a lap behind. I had a mistake. Come on. Oh, Jesus of shit. Okay. Anyway, you're just gonna fucking push your engine hard as well. Hopefully we don't break down, but unlikely we don't break down. Um, so the fact that the other team is number one, the team that crashed, uh, only helps people that aren't us because we're not going to beat people that are behind. That are only just behind. Because I think that's purple. Or pink. It's like this pink is chewed So they're in 11th and 13th. So the fact that um, I am. Did you just run out of fuel? Really? Where are you? Please tell me you finished. <sighs> okay. I mean, the strategy, again, almost worked. Except we needed to keep fucking upping our tires. Like we need to keep, we have to keep warming them, which um, then cause them to wear a little bit faster, and they just aren't lasting long enough for that to, for that strategy to pay off. <laughs> but again, we didn't come last, which means that uh, we get more points than we would have. I mean, they're, they're both at the bottom now. Now we have 12 points. So we basically, we, we, we got, uh, what's that, six, no, five, we got five points instead of three. Huh. Yeah, five points instead of three, this is, I mean, it just means we didn't fall as far behind. It doesn't really make any difference, if I'm being honest. Well, it's probably not going to make that much difference, is what I actually mean to say. But it should make this guy happier, because again, we didn't come last and last. So yeah, your puppy's only got 4%. Boots our job security. Um, okay, continue. Uh, 
Okay, so we can, oh, if we can get that if we, one more race and we can get a better engine. And a better engine is just going to be so much more cool. Uh, like, it, at the moment, our gearboxes are fucking great, but we've got nothing to drive them. Did our sponsors expire? Yeah, okay, our best sponsor expired. And all of our sponsors dropped. Um, must respond, accept interview. Which driver is better? I mean, I'll go with this. Because it's going to boost his morale by 20%. Apparently it didn't actually penalize the other person, which I found a little bit weird. But boosting him, because I'm not going to use the other driver. Like, once, once this offer comes in, I mean. So, yeah. Once, once, um, once the contract with this guy comes through, uh, we're not going to use her anymore. Did he ex uh, adjust. Oof, 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 okay. He's insulted that we offered him that much money, but he's delighted that we offered him. So if we give you... Seven. Um, how much are we paying our other driver is the question. How much are we paying you per race? I don't, see, I don't know if you pay your reserve driver. We're paying you 40, 40, and 100,000. Um, well, actually, this is what affects price. We're paying you 100,000. We can pay this dude, like, seven, 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 seven. The issue is... Is uh oh no he'll give us a last chance because we're not we're not on last chance we get one more strike it's only because he was insulted if he was slightly annoyed it would have been um, less, less okay scouting tells us is this guy is a see see how he, he's like he shits pressed against the bottom if he has more than four traits he can't see them all pay driver uh, late breaker hates um, successful designer. Makes this. I, I this is. I hide this guy. Is what. This is where I fucked up my other campaign. I hide this guy. He's really good. He's really marketable. Like he's a really good driver. He's really marketable. He actually makes um, the, uh, your drivers go up here. You have the best driver in the fucking league. Um, but in doing so, he costs like uh, a quarter of a million dollars a race. Which I mean, the extra sponsors he brings in probably makes it a little bit less for that. For that. But. Um, This is a million dollars up front, but really shrinks the bonus. Uh, this one is nothing up front, but only pays if you... Okay. We want that sponsorship of a million dollars up front. So much so I think I'm just going to take it. Because, sure, we might get a better offer if we um, waited to get our more marketable guy and boost our marketability from 18% to something ridiculously high. Because 18 is, I think, the average of these, is how it calculates that. Which means that when we swap it out for someone who's a 75, this should go up to like here. Anyway, um, so we're going to go to cars, we're going to design a part, and we're going to design an engine. Now, we're going to make two engines before the end of the season. Because again, we can't modify this part, which is our high-speed cornering. But we can modify these two parts, which are critical for next race, critical for next race. So we can boost reliability. Ah, oh, this is terrible. So we can boost reliability, we can drop red zone, uh, or we can make an illegal part, which, ooh, lovely. I do want to do a run where I do illegal parts, but I feel it's a little risky. Like, it's 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 not really worth it, is what it is. Um, so we can either boost reliability by 15%, which makes you an 11 to 18. We can drop the red zone by 10%. So that's just shit. We're not building an engine then, because what, what's 11 to 18? And what's our current engines? Probably 11 to 18, right? Like car, uh, car, parts, fit parts. Engine, three to 18. Yeah, so, so it's, it, it's not gonna end up at the end of the year being any better than what we currently have. What, Design part. What do we unlock next if we do this? So we want to drop the red zone because reliability would be short-term gain. So basically we can use it next race. But negative red zone means we can use it longer. We can, we can also use it next race because, again, it's the equivalent of 15% more reliability. But long-term it means that we can push engines harder and they can go from 100% down to 10% um, instead of 100% to 20%, which is, you know... 80% difference versus 90% difference. Uh, ooh, plus 40 to top speed, negative 20% reliability. Ooh, plus 30% reliability. Kill. 
plus 20 to max negative 10 percent reliability so again why would i want this one your fucking adding skills is shit uh two days to build time plus 15 to max and plus 20 so that still doesn't sum to this but it doesn't have the reliability so for two extra days anyway we're gonna build this engine yeah i'm gonna build this engine um because the next engine after it will be better like i that engine is trash and i wouldn't build it if it wasn't for the fact that the engine that we build after this engine uh will be significantly better like absurdly better than what we're trying out um anyway that's the end of episode two like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode when we uh we progress to the next race and hopefully have even better parts and have a a, a paid driver and better sponsors anyway uh i'll see you then